Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and I'm out here on the water today going to test out a new standing platform that I actually built for my kayak. And I was a little inspired by uh, Luke's video, if you saw that, where he put a pulling platform on his paddleboard and was able to sight cast some fish using that. So I built this platform um, on my own. I actually used an old seat frame that I had because I had to replace my seat. And I used the seat frame, put a piece of wood on top of it, and it actually fits right into the original uh, frame that the seat locks into when you uh, raise it up from an elevated position. So I'll show you that uh, right here. So as you can see, this is the platform. It's just a piece of wood uh, with some uh, indoor outdoor carpet on it. And I attached it to the top of my old seat frame. And as you can see, it fits right in. Turn that radio off fits right into where the seat locks into when it's at its raised position. So you can see it right there. And the seat actually folds up and you can have it underneath it, stowed away, out of the way. And then I attached an old, um, this is actually a step from an aluminum ladder that I attached there. And that gives it the height that I need it for it to be straight and stable. I also added a little rod holder there just so I have a rod easily accessible when I am standing up on this. So let's go ahead and go out on the water and see if this will work. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. So the first thing I needed to do before I actually started fishing was just get comfortable getting up onto the platform and also getting down. So I would use the rod holders and also the platform itself to hold onto as I stepped up and that gave me a little more stability so that I can stand up comfortably. Now coming back down was pretty simple as well. Again, I just used the rod holders and also the platform itself to hold onto as I came back down. And the platform also doubles as a great seat so you can actually still sit down and paddle if you need to. Now I was able to stand up paddle using my uh, kayak paddle. However, I would probably invest in a stand up paddle that you would use on a paddle board since they are adjustable so you can get that extra length. I also tested out using a push pole from the platform and it worked out very well. I actually made this push pole on my own using a 10 foot wooden dowel that I purchased at Home Depot and just put a PVC pipe T on the top of it to act as a handle for it. I then did a test run of just transitioning from paddling to casting. It was very simple since I had the rod holder on the platform. I just put the paddle in my belt holster that I use and just grab the rods and I was good to go. Now it was time to go look for some fish and it was very easy to spawn them up on this platform. To my left hand side up here, that little black shadow right there, that's a school of black drum. You can easily see them from this elevated position. Now, I must have kept my head really still right here when I set the hook because I wobbled from side to side big time and almost went in. So lesson learned when you are uh, trying to set the hook on a fish when you are standing on this platform and casting to your side. This fish was trying real hard to stay with this school and he did a pretty good job of it as he pulled me around. You can see the school right there, even closer to me. Again, a great view from this elevated platform. Now I didn't really have a chance to try this, but it worked out very well. I was able to put my rod in the rod holder with the fish still on it and get down to a lowered position, that way it can start to land this fish. And 
nice sized black drum. Now I was able to follow the school around for about two hours standing on this platform. And once I stood up on the platform after releasing a fish, it was easy to spot the school. That way I can get back on them. So after releasing a fish, I would just get back up on the platform, look for the school, and get back after them. Well, back to dry land now. The platform worked great. Uh, it was a great addition to the kayak. You could just get so much more elevation. You can see so much more out there on the water. When I was on the school of black drum, when I was sitting down, I lost track of them, but as soon as I popped up onto the platform, I was able to look around and I spotted them again just by looking for a shadow in the water and saw them moving around. So definitely a plus to have some uh, higher elevation when you are out on the water. Again, I just made this with an old seat frame that I had and easily put it together and it fit into the seat uh, bracket where the seat would sit elevated. I just have the seat lowered and underneath the platform and I'm able to put the platform on top over my seat and it's pretty simple to get up and down took a little getting used to but it was very simple to get up and down as soon as I got the hang of it and also um, just getting used to setting the hook on a fish as you saw in the um, earlier clip that almost went overboard <laughs> setting that hook on that fish because I was cast into the side set the hook and got a little off balance but it's just like uh, riding a bike or anything where you have to use balance as soon as you get the hang of it it's a lot easy to do and um, hopefully if you can um, try to make one yourself for your kayak or paddleboard just get a little bit more elevation don't go too overboard and try to make it way too high again you want to try it out before you actually go out for a full day of fishing just to make sure you're comfortable with it now if you do plan to do something like this to your kayak or paddleboard make sure your kayak is stable enough to stand on because obviously if you're trying to um, elevate yourself you're going to raise that center of gravity so you're going to be a lot less stable than you would be if you're standing just on the hull of the kayak another thing is uh, it's a lot better if you have a rudder I just installed a rudder system recently and it makes a huge difference especially when you're drifting uh, when you're push pulling or paddling standing up you get a nice straight drift so your kayak isn't turning side to side and you end up sideways having to cast sideways at a school of fish or anything like that so just a couple uh, considerations to uh, be aware of when you are standing up from your kayak or standing up on a casting platform from your kayak or paddleboard. Now if you have any questions about this video, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And also, if you're interested in seeing where exactly these fish were that I caught, be sure to check out the Salt Strong Insider Membership at saltstrong.com. We have tons of fishing reports, detailed fishing reports showing you exactly where and how we are catching fish and also some insider tips and also some pretty good discounts for you. So be sure to check that out. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.